<sighs> Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's the Nasty One here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Heatus franchise here in year number three. Last episode, we took on the Overdogs in the final game of a three-game road stretch, which we ended up losing thanks to one bad six-run inning in the middle of the game. We ended up dropping that game 7-5 to five as we did rally back late, but we just couldn't get enough into the rally to give us the lead back, and unfortunately, we just couldn't catch them. It was too little too late once again. With that loss, we're now 2-8 and eight on the year, uh, one loss away from another losing season, hoping to avoid that at all possible. We're coming back home for this episode here against the Nemesis, which is game number 11 for us in the regular season, and game number 10 for the Nemesis. On the mound for them is their number two pitcher, right-hander Air Lovestone, in her second season with the Nemesis rotation. This year, 0-2 with a 7.59 ERA and a 169 whip. Not a great year for Lovestone, the former Heaters pitcher. Uh, we did beat her last season when we matched up with the Nemesis a uh, year prior. Um, Nemesis coming in at 5-4, and, and for us, we're coming in at 2-8. and eight. On the mound for us is rookie left-hander Tower Hiker. No record, a 6 ERA and a 1.58 whip. Trying to salvage something out of this season. Lineup for today's game, leading off in left field is Buster Biggs. Following him in number two is locked in shortstop Jesus Gould. Batting third over at first base today will be Caleb Golden. Batting fourth at third base, Jack Strino getting the start. Batting fifth at second base, Jamie Pollard. Batting sixth, rookie center fielder Nolan Lawson. Batting 7th, 10th right fielder Dax Jarvis. Batting 8th, backup rookie catcher Everett Nash. And batting ninth is the pitcher Tower Hiker. Let's get it on. Alright, Nemesis this year still relying a lot on their offense and defense to get the job done. Their bullpen is still pretty good. Uh, rotation is all abysmal and their speed is non-existent. So yeah, they put a lot of money into those bats. Uh, some money into the defense and some money into the bullpen, but they uh, did not leave enough to address their starting pitching issue, nor do they have any speed, so yeah. So basically, if they don't hit it out of the park, don't expect them to get to second base a whole lot. Yotter, Slam, and Sports up first here for the Nemesis in the top half against the rookie Tower Hiker. Let's go ahead and get it on. Right fielder Yahavi Yotter leading off with outside pitch active, hitting 250 on the air with two homers and five RBIs, facing the rookie Tower Hiker. Tower on the young season, uh, two starts on the year, no record, a 6 ERA and a 158 whip. He's given up to eight runs, four earned in both of his starts, uh, 12 innings pitched, six innings in each start, 16 hits surrendered with two homers, a wild pitch, three walks, and three strikeouts. Batting average against on the year for Hiker is 333. Lineup for the Nemesis today, after Javi Yotter, it is center fielder Jackie Slam, and his second baseman today, Jock Sports. Locked in on fire at first base, Spanky Wagner, who got picked up from the Wild Pigs in free agency. Batting fifth, third baseman Hito Moon Shada. Batting sixth, coming over from the Jacks offense, left fielder Jack Cracker. He is tense. Batting seventh, catcher Stacy Staples. Batting eighth, shortstop Charlie Lopez in his second year, coming over from the uh, Platypi. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Air Lovestone. Hiker is set, ready to go. Let's get it on. Fastball blew it by him at the letters, 0-1. Well, down and in, chopped in the hold of third. Trevino overcuts it off, fires the first, one down. Next up is center fielder Jackie Slam, hitting 324, four homers, six RBIs on the air for the center fielder. Two seamer down and in on the first pitch is low and inside, ball one. Four seamer up and away, chased it outside, one and one the count. Change up down in the way, that is pulled foul, one and two the count is tough out, activates here for Slam. Teasing ripping in. Chased it high, strike three. First punch out for Hiker. One down, two down in the inning, and that will bring up second baseman Jack Sports. Hitting 294 on the air with two homers and five RBIs. <laughs> hey, Luai, how's it going? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You too. Have a good one, bud. Good luck in your game. It's probably going to go a lot better than mine anyway. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, change it down in the way on the first pitch as low as it sneaks a little bit back inside there from Hiker. Heater up at the letters. That's driven by Sports to dead center field. Well, if you're still watching Lawai, that's one mistake to avoid. Uh, don't throw a high fastball to Jock Sports as he puts that out there near the hot dog stand. Home run for Jock, his third of the year, and the Nemesis have a 1-0 lead here in the first. <laughs> oh, good. You were still watching. Good. <laughs> Batting fourth on fire is first baseman Spanky Wagner sporting those uh, retro sunglass shades there. Uh, 
retro aviators, I guess. Batting 269 with three homers, nine RBIs. He just took all the tin out of them and just left the clear lenses. Coming over from the Wild Pigs here in the offseason was Wagner, third year in the league. Curveball outside, ball one. Forcing him down and in. That's chopped on the ground to short. Gould charges. He'll make the play, and that will end the inning. But the Demesis on the board first with the home run from Jock Sports as he clears the batter's eye in dead center and sends it almost to the hot dog stand. Bottom one, Biggs, Gould, and Golden do up. Apparently that fastball needed a little bit more mustard on it. Bottom half of the first we go. Buster Biggs leading off for the heaters today. Left fielder hitting 452 with a homer, six RBIs. Without a doubt, our most consistent hitter this year. Facing old pitcher Air Lovestone in her third season, second with the Nemesis here in the series. 0-2 in this campaign with a 7.59 ERA and a 1.69 whip as the number two pitcher in the rotation. Nine earned runs given up in her two starts, totaling only 10 and two-thirds innings, so just over five innings a start. 15 hits surrendered, three homers, three walks, and nine strikeouts. Batting average against 3.19 on the year. For Lovestone, not a great season for her, trying to bounce back against her old club, who she is 0-1 against in her career. Fastball down and in is low, ball one. Sliders low, 2-0 the count to Buster. Fastball up and in, blew it by him, 2-1. and one. Curveball down and in is turned on by Biggs and pulled foul. That'll get out of reach of Yotter. 2-2 two, two the count. Check swing up and in on the heater, inside. Full count now to Biggs. Curveball down, ripped hard by Biggs. Leaping his jock sports to rob him of a base hit. One down. Next up is Jesus Gould, the shortstop, locked in, hitting 325 with a homer. Six RBIs on the air. Pass, but that in the way, strike called, 0 1. Heater up and in is high, 1 and 1. Slider down in the way, in there at the knees, 1 and 2. Pass, but down, line through the middle as it's under Lovestone's glove. Base hit for Gould into center. His first hit today, he's 1 for 1. Runner on, 1 down. Here's first baseman Caleb Golden, hitting 333. Six RBIs on the air as Golden moves over to first base to give Mash Taters a day off, who is not feeling well at the plate. Oh, for his last 10. Golden takes a strike at the letters, 0 1. Heater up and away is high, 1 1 the count. Curveball hangs, and that is punished, but it is pulled way foul. 1 2 the count from Golden. Fastball up and in, driven by Golden to the gap left center field. That is going to get down and be extra bases all the way to the wall. Slam tracks it down as Gould comes around third. He is going to score on the double from Golden. Seventh RBI of the year for Caleb. We are tied at one. It's going to be an early offensive day for both clubs, it looks like. Next up in the cleanup slot, third baseman Jax Trevino, who's been on the bench the last couple of games. Being 278 uh, on the air with a homer and two RBIs. Fork ball down at the knee. Strike call. Them and one. Both career highs are tied there by Trevino. He's hit one homer in his rookie year and also drove in only two runs. Fastball at the knees, line at the middle, base hit into center, that's a base hit. Slam gets to it quickly, that will hold the runner at third, as Golden does not run well. Runners at the corners, one down for Pollard, hitting 256. Two homers, three RBIs on the year for Jamie. Good RBI chance for him. Curveball drifts outside from Lovestone, ball one. Slider away, grounded up the middle to short, backhanded by Sports, he'll flip the second one, Lopez the first, double play, and that will end the inning. Pollard had a golden opportunity to give us the lead. Instead, he gave us an ending-ending double play ball to the second. We're knotted at one after the RBI double from Caleb Golden. Five, six, and seven do it for the nemesis here. Moonshotta, Cracker, and Staples. Ito Moonshotta leading off the third baseman, hitting 257 with a homer, three RBIs on the air. High pitch active for the Jersey leading sale, sales uh, seller for the nemesis offense. Curveball at the knees, grounded in the hole to second. Collard over, cuts it off. One down. Next up is left fielder Jack Cracker, the new addition from the Jacks offense in his third year, first with the Nemesis. Currently tense right now, but he is hitting 313 on the season all told. Two RBIs on the year. You see him rubbing in the first pitch, check swing, strike call, though in one. Change of middle in. That's lined to first, right at Golden, who backhands it cleanly. Two down. Base is empty for Stacy Staples, hitting 160 on the year. Three pitches into the inning and already two outs for Hiker here so far. Fastball up the letter. Strike call to 1 1. Well down and away. Line to third. Trevino lunges under his glove into left field as he probably should have dove instead. 
Biggs gets it in on the single. Two out runner at first for Charlie Lopez. Shortstop only hitting a buck 74 on the year. Well down and in. Foul back. 0 and 1. Two seam repping away. That's outside. Just missing the zone. 1 and 1. Pass ball up and in. Popped up in front of the plate. Nash out of the crouch. Makes the catch on the first base line, and that will end the inning. An eight-pitch inning there for Hiker as he gets through the second without issue. Outside of the one hit, bottom two, it is uh, one to one. Lawson, Jarvis, and Nash, six, seven, eight, do up for the heaters. Leading off is rookie center fielder Nolan Lawson, hitting 387. Two RBIs on the air for Nolan. Curveball inside, misses from Lovestone, ball one. Pass bumping in is high, two other count to Nolan. Fastball down the middle, popped it up. He just missed it. In front of the mound is Love, Air Lovestone. She'll make a catch, one down. Dax Jarvis up next. Right fielder is tense, going over for three last episode, hitting 229. Three RBIs on the air. Starting to hit that slump again. Heater away, strike called, 0 1. Fork ball bounces in the dirt. Good block there behind the plate by Staples. 1 1 the count. Slider middle in line to second. Leaping is sports, and that robs Jarvis of a hit as he just can't buy a break this year. Two down, and here's rookie backup catcher Everett Nash giving Hank Hart a day off to rest. Nash still not fully healed up from his groin injury, but he's well enough to play without a few, without a penalty. Batting 400 on the year, 4 for 10. Fork ball down and in, uh, fork ball down and in, sorry. Strike called at the knees, 0 and 1. Fork ball at the knees again. This time it's dumped over to the leaping third baseman's glove into the left field corner. That'll be extra bases for the rookie Nash. He will have a two out double to keep the inning alive. Good swing there by Everett. That'll bring up the pitcher. Here's Tower Hiker. Batting a one for four on the air as a batter. Looking to drive in his first career run. Slider down and in. Strike call to him. One and Hiker, remember, is our best hitting pitcher ratings wise. So, And he's got some good speed to boot. He puts in the gap. We're looking at a double. Curveball down and in. Turned on and ripped foul. 0 and 2 the count to Tower. Fastball up, line at the middle, right at Lopez holding the runner. He'll fire to first in time to end the inning. As we'll strand another runner in scoring position to the third. It's tied at one. Lovestone, Yotter, and Slam do up for the nemesis. Leading off is the pitcher, Lovestone. No hits on the air for air. Fastball up and away in the first pitch. Strike call, 0-1. Change it down and away. Low under the knees. One and one. Two seamer middle in. That's lined at the middle, and that's a base hit for Lovestone. Her first hit of the season as she dumps it back into center. Lead off woman on here in the third for the Nemesis. Now let's we'll spring it back to Javi Yatter at the top of the lineup. He's over one today. That's a pitch active for him. Granted that the shortstop is first time up. Curveball down and in. Strike called. Oh and one. Or seamer up and in. Blew it by Yotter as he's late on it. 0 and 2. He's even down and in. Check swing low and inside. 1 and 2. Change up, up and in. Chased it inside. Strike 3. Second punch out for Hiker. 1 down in the inning. Now to bring up Jackie Slam, who struck out swinging her first time up. Late on a high inside fastball. Two seamer middle in on the first pitch. Inside. Ball 1. Or seamer down and away. Just low. 2 and 0. Ball down and in. Inside and low. 3 0. Two seamer middle away. That's a strike on the outside corner. 3 and 1. Change up and in. Inside ball 4. First walk today for Hiker. A slam will reach. Two on, one down for Jack Sports, who homered his first time up on a high fastball as he absolutely murdered it over the center field batter's eye. First pitch curveball down and away. Line at the middle. Base hit for Jack as that's into center. Lawson comes up throwing. Lovestone will hold it third. Base is loaded. One down. Or Spanky Wagner, who is still on fire. Grounded at the second his first time up. He's 0 for 1. Big spot for Spanky. Base is loaded. And, uh, one down in the inning. Two seamer down in the way in the first pitch. Check swing strike called at the knees. 0 and 1. Four seamer down and then swung over the top of it. 0 and 2 the count. Change up away, line to third. Trevino knocks it off his glove into left field as he reacted quickly enough. He just couldn't secure it. Run scores, it is two to one. And it looks like they gave Trevino an error on that play. Interesting. Moon shot up next, though, for one. I guess he probably should have caught it. 
So E5 there in your score books is that allows the run to score. 2 on the score. Base is still loaded. One down for Hito Moonshada. Grounded out to second his first time up. Down in the way. Line to first. Right at Golden. It makes an easy catch. Two down in the inning. That will bring up Jack Cracker, who is over one today. Change of down and in on the first pitch is low and inside. Ball one. Four seamer away. Outside. Two and oh. Three seamer away. Strike called. Two and one. Ball down and in. Low in the dirt. Three and one. Got to have a strike here, Tower. Four seamer down in the way. Grounder to short. One hopper to Gould. We'll pick it cleanly to first. In time to end the inning. As we get out of the bases loaded jam, only giving up one run on the error by Trevino as it ricocheted off his glove. Bottom three, two on the score. Biggs, Gould, and Golden do up. Here's Buster Biggs, 0 for 1 today. Flew out his first, lined out the second his first time up. Fastball up and in, strike called, 0 and 1 as Lovestone caught the corner with that fastball. Fastball down in the way is chopped to short right at Lopez on a hop. He'll make the easy play, one down. Next up is shortstop Jesus Gould, who's locked in. He singled his first time up and then scored on the double by Golden. One for one today. Curveball middle in is just inside. Ball one. Fastball away caught the outside corner. One and one. Heater up and away caught the letters. Two and one. One and two the count. Fastball put in. Chased inside and dribbled in the hole to short. Backhanded by Lopez to his right. He'll fire on it to first in time. Two down as Lovestone's locked in. Base is empty for Golden. Doubled in the run back in the first inning. Curveball down and then strike called at the knees. 0 and 1. Fastball down and away is chased. 0 and 2 the count to Golden. Fastball middle in. Turned on by Caleb and hit well. Left center field carrying well. But it will die at the warning track for Jack Cracker as he makes the catch to end the inning. 1, 2, 3 for Lovestone here in the bottom of the third. To the fourth, it is the bottom of the Nemesis lineup to face Hiker for the second time. Staples, Lopez, and Lovestone. Staples leading off. Catcher singled her first time up. She's one for one today. Still batting under 200, though, on the year. Change bit the knees on the first pitch. Pulled foul. 0 and 1. Four seam repping in. Check swing strike called. 0 and 2. Two seam repping away. Chased it high. Strike three. Third punch out for Hiker. One down in the inning. Next up is Charlie Lopez. He's 0 for 1 today. Grounded out to second his first time up. Curveball in there at the knees. 0 and 1. Four seamer down in the way. Check swing low. 1 and 1. Change up middle away. That hangs and it's ripped foul. Thankfully, Lopez is out on his front foot. 1 and 2 the count. Two seamer middle in. Shot back to the mound. Hiker bare hands it off the mound and fires the first in time. Two down. Base is empty for Lovestone. 1 for 1 with a single and she's locked in. It's also scored a run as well. Fastball in there at the letter. Strike called. 0 and 1. Curveball down and away. Fouled off. 0 and 2. Two seamer away. Check swing outside. 1 and 2. Change up and in. High. 2 and 2. Good take. Where's seamer down and in. Grounded up the middle. Gould over behind the bag. Knocks it down on the dive. And that'll be an infield single for Lovestone as he couldn't secure it. Yotter up next, 0 for 2 today. Struck out swinging last time up. He's currently tense. Four seamer down and in on the first pitch. Strike called at the knees, 0 and 1. Two seamer up and in. That's high, 1 and 1. Change it down and in. That's driven by Yotter to right center field. Hit pretty well. He got all of it. It is gone. Second homer of the game for the Nemesis, and that brings their total runs to four. That's Yotter's third homer of the year. Two run shot doubles their run total. It is four to one. Jackie Slam up next, 0 for 1 with the walk as Tyker now tense. Slider at the knees, check swing low, ball one. Sorry, that's a changeup. Hiker does not know how to throw a slider. Four seamer up and away is high, 2 0. Oh. Ball down and in, fouled off, 2 and 1. Two seamer at the knees, chopped at the third baseline. Trevino dies, makes the stop, gets up and fires. Late infield single for Slam as she beats it out. Runner still at first, two down for Sports. He singled in a run on the in singled in a run. No, he singled last time up to load the bases. He's also homered today, driving in a run. Four seamer at the knees on the first pitch is low. Ball one. Change up, up and away. Chased it high. One and one. 
Force Ember down. Chased it under the knees. One and two. Throw ball down and in. Line in the hole to right. Base hit for Sports. His third hit today. He's three for three. Two on, two down now for Wagner, who drove in a run on an error last time up. He's over two. Throw ball down in the way in the first pitch. Lined up the middle. Over the diving Pollard's glove into the gap. It goes right center. That's going to drive in two as Wagner's going to have extra bases. Lawson gets it into the cutoff man. It is a two out, two run double. Six one the score. Nemesis lead. Moonshot up next, 0 for 2 today as Hiker just working himself into bigger trouble. Fastball down and in, skied to center. Lawson back to the warning track is there, and he'll retire Moonshot to end the inning. But the Nemesis put four on the board. Two on the homer by Yotter and two on a double by Wagner. It is 6-1 to the bottom of the fourth. Trevino, Pollard, and Lawson do up. As our bad season just continues to get worse. Trevino up next, one for one with the single. He's also made an error in the field. That's why he's currently tense, facing the locked-in Lovestone. Curveball up and in, is pulled down the line, and foul, 0-1. Work ball away, good check swing outside, good take by Trevino, 1-1. One one. Fastball down in the way, pulled back behind the plate, 1-2. Fastball middle in line to third, right at Moonshada, one down. Jamie Pollard up next, he's 0-1. Grounded into double play his first time up. Curveball away is outside, ball one. Heater outside as well, misses 2 0 the count to Pollard. Fastball up is chased high on the power swing, 2 and 1. Slider down and in, line to left center. That's going to be a base hit for Pollard as that drops in. Cut off by Slam, it'll hold Jamie to a single. He's on with one down. Next up, Nolan Lawson, rookie 0 for 1 today. Grounded out his first time up, or sorry, popped out to the pitcher his first time up. He missed the power swing with 2-0. Fastball high, ball one. Peter high again, 2-0 the count. Lovestone behind in the count here. Fork ball at the knees, driven by Lawson to right center field. Hit pretty well, but that's going to die at the warning track for slam. It makes the catch in the deepest part of the park, one down. Next up is Dax Jarvis, 0 for 1 today. Lined out the second his first time up. Fork ball inside, strike called, 0 and 1. Fastball, but in line, back up the middle. Base hit for Jarvis as he'll dump that into center. His first hit today, he's 1 for 2. And he's back to neutral mojo. Everett Nash up next, rookie doubled his first time up. Then he was stranded at second base. He's 1 for 1 today. Hey, Happy, yes, I wish they would, but it does not look like that'll be this season unless we magically win our last six games. Then maybe we'll have a shot, but highly unlikely at this rate. Ah, uh, shame. Maybe in year four, maybe. Pork ball in there at the knees, 0-1. Nash behind. Fastball up, bloop by Nash to the left center. Over the leaping Lopez's glove, that is down for a hit. Throw coming to third is late, and Nash moves up to second on the RBI double. Rookie drives in his first career run, I believe, and that makes it 6-3, to three, or 6-2. to two. Hiker up next. He's 0-1 today. We do need him to bat. I need at least one more inning out of him. So, uh, Tower, you're going to need to bat here. Maybe. Uh, I'd have to restart the series, though, unfortunately. <laughs> so, uh, kind of stuck in a hole for right now, but I am considering extending it. I think... Um, if we don't do 16, I believe next standard is 32, and then I believe the one after that is 48, if I remember correctly. So, uh, we have choices. We do have choices, but uh, we would need to restart. <laughs> it would definitely be a more believable series that way. <laughs> All right, Hiker, give me a good at bat here, Rook. Uh, Lovestone no longer locked in. Two in scoring position with two down. Can Tower deliver and help his own cause? Slider at the knees, line at the middle. Yes, he can, as that's going to be his first two career RBIs. One run is in. Coming around as well is Nash. It is a two-run single. It is 6-4 to four as Tower Hiker delivers. Next up is Buster Biggs. 0 for 2 today. Runner goes on the first pitch. Curveball in there at the knees. Strike call. Throw down by Staples. Not in time as that's the first career steal for Tower Hiker. 1-0 the count here to Biggs. Runner in scoring position. Curveball inside is turned on and pulled to right. That's an easy fly ball for Yotter, and that will end the inning. But the Heaters respond with three of their own as we make it a two-run game again. 6-4 to the bottom of the fifth. Cracker, Staples, and Lopez do up. There's Jack Cracker. He's 0-2 today in tense, trying to figure out Tower Hiker. Both batter and pitcher tense in this fight. Hard liner to second, one hopper to Pollard. He'll make the play cleanly to first. One down as 
Crackers now rattled. Interesting. Staples up next one for two with a single. Who at last time up? Curveball in the dirt. Bouncing. Ball one. Seamer down in the way is hitting the hold a second on the ground. Pollard dives and cuts it off. Nice play, Jamie. Gets up and fires. Two down in the inning. Atta boy, Jamie is showing off that glove. Lopez up next. He's 0 for 2. Or Seamer up and in on the first pitch. Strike called. 0 and 1. Change it down and in. Strike called at the knees. 0 and 2. Well down in the way. Outside. Low. 1 and 2. Two Seamer up and away. Chopped in the hole to first. Golden over on the back. Bare hand flips to the pitcher in time. One, two, three inning for the rookie as he's back to neutral. Bottom five, it is six to four. Gould, Golden, and Trevino do up against Lovestone. Might be able to get another inning out of Hiker depending on how many pitches he's at. There's Gould, one for two with a single in his first at bat. Locked in. Flew out last time up. Curveball bounces in the dirt. Ball one from Lovestone. Bounces again in the dirt with the curveball, 2-0. Fork ball up and in line, right center over the leaping sports' glove. Base hit for Jesus. Second hit today, he is 2-3. for three. Lead off man on for Golden, representing the tying run. He doubled in the same runner at first base back in the first inning. 1-2 for two today. It's also flown out to left center. Curveball away, misses, ball 1. Just outside there from Lovestone. Fastball up and away, hitting the hole, past Gould. Into right, that is another single for Golden. His second hit today, he is two for three. Two on, none down to start the inning. Heaters in business. Go ahead, run at the plate. Here's Jack Trevino. One for two with a single here in the bottom of the fifth. Tying run at first. Lovestone now tense. Slider caught the inner third. 0 and 1. Trevino lined out the third. Last time up, he's also singled. Curveball in the dirt. Check swing. Good take by Jax. 1 and 1. Slider middle in. Or that was a curveball, I guess. Hitting the foul territory on the left side into the corner. Run down by Cracker for the first out. I'm surprised he caught that despite being rattled. Two on still, one down for Jamie Pollard. Singled last time up, one for two. Showed off the gold glove last inning in the infield. Let's see if that translates to the batter's box. Peter up and away, strike call, 0 and 1. Pollard's also grounded into a double play today. That fastball's high from Lovestone, 1 and 1. That's outside on the heater, no one near the zone, 2 and 1. <laughs> missed the slider at the knees away. Two and two. Fastball middle in. Ground to the third. Moon shot of the second one. Sports the first. Around the horn. Double play. Second one Jamie's hit into today, and that ends the inning. To the sixth. We're still down six to four. Lovestone, Yotter, and Slam do up. Hiker's only at 72 pitches. I can get another inning out of him. Let's go for it. Lovestone leading off. Pitcher's two for two off of her adversary. Fastball inside on the first pitch. Misses badly. Ball one. Ball away. Check swing strike called at the knees outside. One and one. Two seamer low. Check swing misses just below the knees. Two and one. Change up inside. That is driven by Lovestone to center, but she missed it. Lawson to the warning track. Makes the catch. One down. Yotter up next. He had a two run bomb last time at the plate in that four run rally back in the fourth inning. Fastball inside on the first pitch is fouled back. 0 and one. Ball down and in. Check swing in the dirt. Good hold there by Yotters. He managed to not swing. Two seamer down and in on the next pitch. Fouled off. One and two the count. Change up up and in. Fouled back. One and two the count. Four seamer inside. Way off the plate as that backs him about. Uh, backs him up. Two and two the count. Ball down and in. Ripped up the line. Fair ball. As that's going to be into the left field corner as Yotter's going to have extra bases for the second time today. Biggs gets to it and gets it in quickly, but it is a one-out double. Yotter finds himself in scoring position. First slam. Singled last time up. She's also walked today. One for two. She's also struck out once. Or seamer down and in. Check swing low. Good eye. Ball one. Change it down and away. Grounded hard to short right at Gould. will lift the runner back and fire to first. In time. Two down. RBI chance for Jack Sports. He is 3 for 3 today. He's hit a solo homer and singled twice today. Curveball down and in on the first pitch is low and inside in the dirt. Ball one. Two seamer up and away. Outside. 2 and 0. Oh. Four seamer down and away. Low. 3 and 0. Oh. It's a good pitch there. Curveball down and in. Inside ball four. I don't I don't blame you for walking him. Tower. 
Second walk today for him is that'll bring up Wagner, who uh, doubled in two last time up. He's one for three. He's also driven in a third run on an error and lined out as well. We're seeing down in the way in the first pitch. Check swing strike called. 0 and 1. Good way to get ahead. Change it down and in. Check swing low and inside. 1 and 1. Two seamer up and in. Blew it by him. 1 and 2 the count. Curveball down in the way. Way outside. Good block by Nash in the dirt. 2 and 2. Well, we're seeing her down and in, driven by Wagner, left center field. Did he get enough of it? Biggs going back at the warning track at the wall. Leaps, it's gone. Three run homer for Spanky Wagner as he doubles his RBI total to six today. And that breaks it open. It is nine to four. Just needed that one out and we couldn't fucking get it. Fourth homer of the year for Spanky, and that'll bring up Moonshotta, who's over for three today. Facing the now tense uh, hiker. Heater away in the first pitch, grounded right at Golden, and that, of course, is going to end the inning. One batter, one pitch, too fucking late. Three-run bomb for Wagner, fourth of the year, makes it 9-4, Nemesis. Bottom six, Lawson, Jarvis, Nash in the pitcher slot, do up fourth. That is annoying. That's basically been the story of our season. One batter, one pitch, too late. Lawson up next, 0-2 today. Rookie looking for his first hit off Lovestone. Heater away, strike called, 0-1. Basketball down and in is low, 1-1. Fastball middle in, turned on by Lawson, cracked well to right field. Yotter retreating to the warning track, he's out of room. Leaps, it is gone. Fireball coming at you. First career home run for Nolan Lawson as the rookie gets us uh, back on the board. His first homer of the year, it is now 9-5. Well, I'll give him credit, he's not giving up. Jarvis up next, one for two with a single. First homer given up by Lovestone today. Curveball hangs on the next pitch, ripped in the gap right center field. Deepest part of the park it goes. That'll be extra basis for the speedy Jarvis. Slam tracks it down. It will be a double. There you go. All right, now the rally. Next up, Everett Nash, who's locked in. Two for two today. RBI double last time up for Everett. That was his first career RBI, by the way. Facing the now tense Lovestone. Fastball in the dirt. Ball one. Slider inside, turned on by Nash, Sky to right center, Yotter over fourth, this should be an easy first out. It is, we are going to hold, Yotter has a very good arm. Would have been out. Next up is Hiker, pitcher one for two with a two RBI single last time up, we will pinch hit for him though, as Air Lovestone coming out. Coming out of the bullpen is left-handed specialist Braun Thunderchump, former Overdogs reliever. Lovestone goes uh, five and a third, pardon me, gives up five earned runs, runner at second her responsibility. Thunder Chump on the year, no record, a 6.35 ERA and a 1.76 WHIP. Five appearances on the year with four and runs given up, five and two thirds innings pitched, eight hits surrendered, two walks, six strikeouts, and a batting average against of 3.48, which is actually, <coughs> pardon me, the second highest out of the bullpen. Go ahead and pinch hit here for Hiker. Oh, I need a I need a righty batter. Well, the only option then is Rafi Slaps. He's the only other, he's the only right-handed batter I have on my bench at the moment. Former Moonstar's uh, third baseman batting a two for four off the bench here. One RBI on the year for Rafi. Fastball inside, strike called from Thunderchump, 0-1. Heater down in the way is outside, 1-1. One one. Fastball up and in, that's dumped to right center. That's going to get down for a hit as Rafi puts it in front of Slam. Coming around third is Jarvis. He will score it as 9-6, second RBI of the year for Rafi. Buster Biggs up next, though, for three today. Specialist active against him as well, unfortunately. Fastball down in the way at the knees. Strike called. 0 1. Curveball at the knees. Pulled in the hole to second. Diving his sports under his glove into right center. That is a base hit for Biggs as he'll beat it out. First and second now. Here's Jesus Gould. Two for three today with two singles. And Powers lefty active. He's still locked in as well. He represents the tying run. One down in the sixth. Thunderchump sets and fires. Fastball is high. Ball one. Fastball inside is chased. That's a bad pitch to swing out. One and one. Fastball way is chased outside and high. One and two the count. Fastball down and in. Chopped in the hole short. Over Ford Lopez on the backhand. A second one. Sports the first. Just in time. Double play. Third one we've hit into today and that will end the inning. As Gould knocked down to Nutra Mojo. But we do get two runs back in the inning. Thanks to a pinch hit single by Rafi Slaps. And a solo home run. The first of the career of Nolan Lawson. Uh, we are going to go to the bullpen here. And we are going to turn it over to Tats Balfour, the right-hander. 
to the seventh. It is nine to six. Cracker, Staples, and Lopez up against Tats, former B Wolves hurler. Cracker 0 for 3 today is rattled, trying to find a way out of the slump he found himself in. Tats Balfour on the air. Here are his numbers in his two appearances with us this year. He's gotten one save. He has no record, a 9 ERA and a 233 whip. Three earned runs given up in three innings. Six hits surrendered, one walk and one strikeout. Batting average against on the year 429 as Tats tries to find his footing this year. Fastball inside, fouled off 0-1. We're about down in the way in the next pitch. Strike called at the knees. 0-2. We're seeing up and away. Strike three called on the outside corner. First punch out for Balfour. One down. Next up, Stacy Staples. Catcher one for three with a single. Slider down and in on the first pitch. Line in the hole of short. Gould dives. Makes the nice catch. Out of boy Jesus. Two down. Lopez up next. 0 for three. Still looking for his first hit. Or seamer up and away. Just high. Ball one. Slider at the knees. That's hard ground to the second right at Pollard. He'll make the play to first. One, two, three inning for Balfour as he's out of the seventh. Bottom half we go. It is nine to six. Part of the lineup up for the heaters here. Golden, Trevino, and Pollard. There's Golden. Two for three. Double single and an RBI today. Doubled in a run back in the first inning. Curveball down and in. Line at the middle. Base hit for Golden. His third hit today. He is three for four as he will find himself on to start the seventh. Lead off man on for Trevino. One for three with a single today. It's also lined out. He's lined out twice. Curveball away, misses. Ball one. He's also made an error in the field. That's why he's tense currently. Heater up and in. Strike called. One and one. Pass ball. Blew it by him. One and two. Took too long to the side on that one. Change up at the knees. Ripped foul by Trevino. He'll stay alive. One and two. Curveball down and in. Turned on by Jax. Into the corner it goes. Hit well. Chasing it is Cracker to make the catch. One down. Had he not been tense, that's probably gone. One down runner at first for Pollard. He's one for three with a single today. Jamie's hitting to two double play ground outs. Heater down and in strike called. 0 and 1. Change up way outside, not even near the zone. 1 and 1. Fastball middle in. Punch the first over the diving Wagner's glove. Base hit for Jamie. His second hit today. He's two for four. Two on, one down. Coming to the plate as Lawson as the tying run. Solo home run last time up for the rookie, the first of his career. Specialist, however, is active against him. Can Nolan deliver? Find the gap. Do something. Curveball hangs on the first pitch, driven to left field, cracked over Cracker, but he'll make the catch at the wall. Two down. A little, a little. God, I'm hoping he'll drop one of these one day. <laughs> two on, two down for Jarvis. Specialist active against him as well. He did double last time up. He is two for three. He's also singled and lined out to second. Heater in there at the knees, 0-1. Change up inside, almost hits Jarvis as he backs away, 1-1. One one. Change up inside, pulled foul, 1-2 the count. Change up hangs, line to the gap, right center. Jarvis is going to have another hit as that's his third today. It's going to be an RBI single as one run is in. It is 9-7. Tying run at first, go ahead run at the plate and rookie catcher Everett Nash. 2-3 for three today with two doubles and an RBI. Specialist still active, though, for Thunderchump. Fastball way in the first pitch, hit in the hole. A short base hit for Everett Nash as he'll deliver another run. It is 9-8. Heaters have the tying run at second. Go ahead, run at first for the pitcher, Tats Balfour. Give me a, th give me a think here. <laughs> okay, we do have a lefty still on the mound. I mean, Thunderchump is not pitching well, but I don't want to risk the specialist here. And Balfour only threw six pitches. I kind of need another inning out of him, unfortunately. Um... Who's rested? Garner, he can pitch the ninth. Uh, Barnes, uh, don't want to throw her out there if I don't have to. Uh, Yago is a little gas, so I want to don't want to throw her out there either. Okay. Uh, dang it. I don't want to do this. You just demolished the Crocs. Jesus Christ, Lawai. Holy shit, 13-0? Almost through a complete game. Bullpen destroyed. Way more interesting game going. Yeah, we're trying to rally. Oh, do I pinch hit or not? I don't want to take Balfour out because he did pitch well, but at the same time, I need the bat. Uh, fuck it. Give me Hart. Hank Hart pinch hitting. Catcher hitting 314 in the year with two RBIs. 
All right, come on, Hank. Keep the rally. Thunder Chump tense. Specialist active, though. Heater up and in. Caught the corner. 0-1. Good pitch there from Braun. Fastball way fouled off. 0-2. Head in the count. Curveball chased it outside. Bad pitch to swing at, and that ends the inning as Hart strikes out. But we do get two more runs as now we're down by one. 9-8 to the eighth. Uh, fudge. Going to give it to the rookie, Romeo Garner, to the eighth. We're down one. Thunder Chump, Yotter, and Slam do up. Thunder Chump due to lead off. There'll be a pinch hitter for him, I'm sure. No, they won't. Okay, Nemesis, I understand. You live and die by the Thunder Chump. I respect it. <laughs> Romeo Garner, the rookie, coming out of the bullpen. 1-0 on the air. He's got a 450 ERA and a one whip. Got the win last time out of the pen. He's given up four in runs in four, in eight, four games. Eight innings pitched. Six hits surrendered. Uh, two homers, two walks, and six strikeouts. Batting average against 200 on the year for Romeo. Fastball away in the first pitch. One hopper to third. Javino fields it cleanly. One down. <laughs> Yotter up next, two for four. Two home run homer and a double today for Javi. Switch hitter batting left-handed for the first time today. Outside pitch still active, though. Curveball down, in the dirt, and the bounce. Ball one. Cutter up and in. That's fouled back, one and one. Forcing me down and in. Blew it by Yotter. Chased inside anyway, one and two. Slider up and in. Popped up to third. Trevino behind the bag on the left field grass. Makes the catch. Two down. Slam up next. One for three with a single and a walk. Horseymer down in the way in the first pitch. Chopped to third. Trevino charges. And he makes all three outs this inning. One, two, three. Inning for Garner as the rookie is through the eighth on what? Five, six pitches? Jesus. Bottom eight. It's nine, eight. Bigs, Gould, Golden. Top of the lineup up. Let us get the rally going, lads. Buster Biggs leading off, one for four with a single off of Thunder Chump, and he scored a run last inning. Change of away, misses, ball one. Thunder Chump still tense. Fastball down and in, driven by Biggs to center, but it's going to hang up for slam. One down. Unlucky. Gould up next, two for four today with two singles. Powers lefty still active for Jesus. Grounded into a double play last time up. Strike at the letters, 0-1-1. Curveball down and in, bounces in the dirt, one and one. Ah, chase the changeup outside, one and two. Oh, I almost chased that fastball high away, two and two. Changeup away, chop the short. Lopez charges, he'll make the play, two down. Thunder Trump back to neutral, here's Golden. Three for four with a double, two singles and an RBI. And they're going to their basic closer at this point, left-hander Gasser Morris, another specialist. Lefty-righty matchup here in favor of Golden. Gasser Morris on the air is 1-1. One and one. He has a 180 ERA and a 170 whip in his first year with the Nemesis. Third year in the league with his third different club. Two earned runs given up in eight appearances, totaling 10 innings. 15 hits surrendered, two walks, a homer, and 10 strikeouts. Batting average against on the air, 357 for Gasser. If I remember correctly, Gasser starts with the Sandcats, and then last inning of the year, I believe he played for the Overdogs, if I remember correctly. And then he got picked up by the Nemesis in free agency. Morris going for the four-out save against Golden, who has three hits today, two singles, a double, and an RBI. Fastball down the middle, 0-1. Fastball up, blew it by him, 0-2. Chased high, fouled back, 0-2. Fastball up and away, chase, strike three. First punch up for Morris, that ends the inning. Combined 1 2 3 inning for Thunder Chump and Morris to the ninth. That is 9 8. Sports Wagner to Moonshada, hard of the lineup up for the Nemesis as they look to extend their one run lead. Sports leading off 3 for 3 today. He walked last time up. He's also singled twice and said a solo homer back in the first inning. Facing the rookie, Romeo Garner. Receiver down in the way is low. Ball one. Go ball down and in. Grounded up the middle to short. Second. Pollard backhands it cleanly. On to first. One down. Wagner up next. He's two for four today. He had a three-run homer last time up. He's also hit a two-run double and driven in a run on an error. Leading the team with six of the nine RBIs today for the Nemesis. Slider down and in is inside. Ball one. And he's also still on fire, unfortunately. Cutter up and away is high. 2-0. Oh. We're seeing down and away. That's lined up the middle on the ground. Base hit for Spanky is into center. His third hit today. Three for four. Or three for five. <laughs> Runner first one down for Moonshot. 0 for four today with high pitch. 
The ball down in the way in the first pitch, in the dirt away. Ball one. Four seamer inside. Runner goes. Throw down by Nash. Just late. Stolen base for Wagner. Spanky, where are you? His uh, first steal of the year. He's one for one. Two of the count to Moonshada. Slider down and in. That's hard chop to third. Just foul. Two and one. Cutter down in the way. Chop to third. Javino charges. Looks to runner back. Fires to first. Two down. Runner still at second for Cracker, who's 0 for 4 and rattled. No pinch hitter coming. It is Jax at bat. Curve ball inside. Misses. Ball one. Or seamer down in the way in the dirt. 2 and 0. Cutter down and in. Line to third. Javino leaps. Makes the catch. Nice play, Jax. That saves a run. Bottom nine, it's nine to eight. Last chance to dance. Heaters, Trevino, Pollard, and Lawson do up. We need one to rally. Morris going for the four out save. Loop it a blast, indeed. Trevino leading off, one for four with a single. Just made the nice gold glove play at third. Let's see if he can translate that to some batting momentum. Coming in defensively for the nemesis, left fielder Kathy Cul-de-Sac as the Saw Teeth alum will replace the rattled cracker in left field. So no drop foul, no drop balls out there today. Damn, unlucky. Loop and a blast, that's all we need. Or a blast and a blast, I'll take that too. <laughs> Morris going for the four-out save. He got the strikeout to end last inning. Let's see what he does here. Change up inside. Ooh, good pitch. He didn't throw a change up at all in the first at bat. 0-1. Fastball away is popped up by Trevino to right field. Shallow. Uh, sports out there. He'll make the catch easily. One down. Straight fastballs? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Jamie Pollard up next, 2 for 4 today with two singles. He's also hitting the two double plays. Fastball middle of the plate, driven by Pollard to right center field. He's going to hit the gap. That'll be extra bases for the speedster. Shortstop already on his way to second, thinking for three. He's going for it. He says, fuck it, what do we got to lose? Lopez's throw to third, just late. It is a triple for Pollard. boy, Jamie, boy. Here's Lawson, rookie, already homered today. He's 1 for 4. That was the first of his career. Anything out of the infield will do, Nolan. Anything out of the infield will do. Specialist actor for Morris. I'm expecting fastballs. <sighs> okay, Rook. What do you got for me? Slider. Popped up. Left center. Shallow. Slams going for it. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, get back here. I'm, I was kidding. I was kidding. She was going to get us. Two down, tying run still at third for Jarvis. Three for four day for the sophomore. Uh, double, two singles, and an RBI. <sighs> still represents the winning run. Specialist actor for Morris. He's in a good spot in the lineup. Next batter is Nash. He's also left-handed. And then a pinch hitter will also be left-handed. So he's in a great spot in the lineup right now. Lines are being guarded. If we can put it between short and third or first and second, we've got a shot. Peter away on the cutter. Strike called letters. 0-1-1. Change up, you bitch. 0 oh, 2. Throw me a fastball, you cunt. Well, he threw me a fastball, skied it right center, and that's going to be an easy catch for Slam to end the game. We lose 9 to 8 again. Ah, <sighs> it's the story of the Heaters' year. Too little, too fucking late, you lose by one run. Nemesis win, 9 8 the final. Good offensive day for both clubs. We out hit them, but, you know, we couldn't hit the Dingers. That's the problem. We only had one, they had three. Uh, homers today. Javi Yadder had a two-run blast. Jock Sports had a solo homer way back in the first inning. Uh, Three-run homer for Spanky Wagner as well. He also had a two-run double and an RBI on a line drive error at third base. Those are all the runs for the nemesis. On the other side for us, uh, Caleb Golden had an RBI double in the first inning. Nolan Lawson had his first career home run. Uh, Dax Jarvis had an RBI single. Uh, Everett Nash had a two-RBI double. Or two RB was it a double? Yeah, it was a two RBI double. Nice job, Rook. Tower Hiker, the pitcher, had a two run single, and Raffy Slaps had a pinch hit RBI single as well. But it wasn't enough to get the job done. This franchise is cursed, indeed. I agree. I'm only giving it to year four. If we don't win in year four, I'm quitting. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Lovestone, five and a third, gets the win against the Rogue Club. She's now one and one against us in her career. Her first win of the year, she's up to one and two. 12 hits, six earned runs, and a homer. Thunder Trump, two and a third, six hits, two earned runs, and a strikeout. Morris, the save, four outs, one hit given up, one strikeout. His first save of the year.
Uh, generally, I like to say four. Uh, with the buzzards, that didn't really uh, come into effect because they got to the postseason the first three years. Then they lost in year four, and then they won. So, yeah, freebooters, I gave them four. Hot corners, I didn't have that problem because they made it in the first year as well, but I gave up after five because it was so frustrating. Sandcats, same thing. Uh, I gave them till four, and they did it in three. So, yeah, four is generally the rule. Once you hit four, it, you just know it's not going to be your season. Rookie Tower Hiker, six innings, 11 hits, eight earned runs, two walks, three strikeouts, three homers given up, unfortunately, for the rookie. He falls to 0-1. That's his first career loss. Tats Balfour goes an inning and relief, uh, throwing six pitches and getting a strikeout. And Romeo Garner, two innings in relief, giving up a hit. Not bad. Our bullpen did well. Player of the game is Spanky Wagner for his six RBI day. He finishes a triple shy of the cycle. Also stole a base and drove in six runs. Jock Sports, three for four. He had a home run back in the first inning, and he scored three times. And Everett Nash, the rookie catcher, had himself a big day. His best of his season so far. Three for four, uh, two doubles, and two RBIs. Ugh, unlucky. And now we are uh, condemned to our third straight losing season here to start the series. As we're now two and nine on the year. We still have uh, five games left. A little, a little. All right, let's have a look around the league. What happened today? Happen, 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 happen. Hamana, hamana, hamana. Uh, Amy Zoner goes to the Surlines as they release uh, backup shortstop Bush and Digman, former heater there getting cut. Uh, Hercules Bentley to the wide loads as he will replace Fungo Akuro. Interesting, okay. Getting another first baseman. They already got rid of Hicks as well. Kathy Caldesac is released by the Nemesis after that defensive substitution. She'll be replaced by Juanita Hernandez, the former Crocodons outfielder. Crocodons also get Spitz McKinney as they sign the former Buzzards outfielder, replacing Clyde Oliver. Uh, Jarvis, plus 12 power in a random roll. He's now a B plus overall. I'd love to see that, Dax. Jack Trevino, plus 10 speed. He's now a B overall. Okay, boys. All right, I like it. And Golden, plus 7 arm there at second base. I like it. You're going to need that as a utility infielder. All right, let's sum up to the next game here. What time is it? 11.45. Go ahead. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Overdogs win. 5-1 over the wide loads. Okay. Three improvements through no training? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> they feel bad for us losing all the time. <laughs> I haven't even been paying attention to who's winning. Lot of win, they get their third victory as they stay out of last place for the time being. Uh, Sirloins win 6-2 over the Moose there to end the Sim. Ooh, Beagles and Grapplers are tied at 8-3. Love to see it. it. I think it is more common in uh, shorter seasons. With the 48, you don't see that as much. Uh, you might see that, but it's like spread out more so across the uh, path of the season. But yeah, in, in uh, shorter uh, seasons, it's definitely easier to see multiple regressions or progressions without training. Uh, next episode. Oh, fuck. We're going back to Shaka, of course. Well, I'm going to have a doubleheader this evening. I want to get this game over with as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm going to make a new episode, though. So uh, don't stick around if you want to watch the next game in the series. And, uh, we're going to be taking on the Buzzards. We'll be 5-5, five and five, sending Hogswind to the mound. Hanno 0-1 and one with a 9 ERA and a 189 whip. Flip your shit if you got that 48. <laughs> and we'll send uh, veteran Hugs Lovell, the former uh, wild, Lo wild Pigs pitcher, uh, making her first start of the year. Uh, we signed her to replace Lumberg because, well, <laughs> what's the point? We don't have a shot. <laughs> All right, player developments. Uh, to have a chance at Whiffer, pass on that one. That's right. It's the K-Man episode. Ooh, that's a good one for Raffi. We'll look at that next episode. Uh, same thing with Gould on this one. It's good. Uh, good contact boost there. Uh, but yeah, there's dueling K-Man chances here. We have to go for him. Let's uh, let's go for it. Plus one power for turn burner. Uh, plus eight velocity. He's now one away from the max and down four accuracy to 38. Does not get the K-Man roll. That would have made him formidable. Mm. Unlucky there. Let's see if Barnes will get it. Rookie gets plus one contact. Loses four junk to 29. Gets the max accuracy roll to 16. She's up to uh, 95. Does not get K-Man either. So despite those positive rolls, we do not get the K-Man trait rolls. But hey, Barnes is now a C+. I'll take that. She's now a usable reliever. All right, let's set the lineup here, call it a day, and uh, we'll stick around. I will be filming the next episode right after this. 
Uh, Biggs will lead off again in left for that one, followed by Pollard at shortstop. Uh, Golden back to second, batting third. Taters will be back in the lineup at first base. Uh, Gould will be at third base, batting fifth. Uh, Hart back in the lineup at catcher. He'll bat number six. Uh, Dax Jarvis out in right. He'll bat seventh. And Lawson, the rookie, will bat eighth in center with Lovell on the mound. And that'll do it for this episode, guys. Uh, another tough loss. Uh, we rallied back. Uh, we made it interesting, but we still lost by one run. We're now 2-9 and nine on the year as we drop to the Nemesis, uh, trying to avoid double-digit losses as we have to win our last five games of the year to do so. I don't think we will, but at least we make these games entertaining now, and they're not just sad, depressing defeats. Uh, if you made it this deep in the video, guys, thanks so much for sticking around. I appreciate the support as always. Sorry we couldn't get the job done again. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the follow button down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, link to Twitch down in the description below. And I will catch you all in the next episode, which for those of you on Twitch is coming up right now, right after this as I reset the stream here. So stick around. Uh, and I'll catch you all in the next episode over on YouTube. Until then, this is the Nasty One signing off. Great day, everyone. Be right back.